Hello everyone and welcome to part one of a video series looking into magnetic skirmions and their potential use in the next generation of super fast and super efficient computers. Let's get straight into it. Your first question is probably just what is a magnetic skirmion? A magnetic skirmion is a type of whirling magnetic defect within a magnetic material. We all likely remember from physics at school what the magnetization of a bar magnet looks like. Uniform in nature, moving from North Pole to South Pole. With a skirmion, the magnetization is not uniform, but it twists, whirling around a central point. Picture a whirlpool in a large lake, but the lake is made out of a magnetic material, and the skirmion is the whirlpool, a twisting defect within the large lake. Magnetic skirmions are also very, very small, usually only nanometers in size. To put that into context, imagine that your morning coffee mug was actually the size of the distance from Leeds to Manchester. If that was the case, a skirmion would still only be about the size of a width of human hair. Magnetic skirmions have a very unique topology or surface structure that makes them very stable. Now, what is topology? In my hands, I am holding two very different objects, a coffee mug and a donut. And whilst these two objects may be very different, topologically, the donut and the handle of the coffee mug are identical. And this is due to the fact they have the same topological structure. They both have one hole that moves all the way through. Now here is a physical definition for topology. Now that we know what topology is, we can demonstrate why a skirmion is so stable. Imagine a Mobius strip. Now for those who don't know what that is, let's allow Tony Stark to explain for us. One last sim before we pack it in for the night. This time in the shape of a Mobius strip. Invert it, please. The Mobius strip is very stable because it is one continuing loop. It has no weak spots or defects where it might break and it will take a powerful event, like me ripping it, in order to break it and change its topology which in this case would mean removing the twist, like this. And if we were to join it back together now, I would have changed its topology by removing the twist. This is a really good analogy as to why skirmions are so stable, as it takes large external events in order to break them and change their topology. Now that we know what a skirmion is, Tune into my next video to find out how they might be used in the next generation of super powerful computers.